deserves standing ovation. Magical by Baez. Baez trying to score! Hello, America. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the show. It's time for baseball on MLB Network. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the Kansas City Royals and the White Sox. Hello again, everybody. Baseball is back. Welcome to our special opening day broadcast on MLB Network. 
I'm joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. The staffs for these two teams sure to be a focal point as this series moves along. You know, I always think pitching and defense are the keys to success in the long run. So as the season gets started, it's going to be really important for this pitching staff to set a good tone. If they can get off on a good foot, it will do a lot for the confidence of the entire ball club. The game's count starting now. Opening day on MLB Network. And it's coming up next. Lucas Giolito gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. Dan Plezak, what do you got? We're looking at a pretty good pitcher right here. ERA under 3.5 last season, and there are a lot of teams in baseball that would love to have this guy in the rotation. Very solid and very dependable. So Lead digging in now, Adalberto Mondesi, City. and we are the ready for some daytime baseball. Mondesi. First offering on its way. And a swing and a miss for strike one as that's how this new season of baseball will get underway. First pitch, one ten. Here's the 0-1. A ball and a strike to our leadoff man here this afternoon. A very comfortable afternoon for baseball. 61 degrees our game time temperature. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Robert is there and he has it for the first out. That is second. The second baseman. Chance now for a look at the Royals starting lineup. Mark, what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win? Maddie, this is going to be a fun lineup for me to watch. I get fired up watching these guys because they all have a plan. It works for them. They follow the scouting reports. They grind it out in a video room. I'm interested to see what they've come up with. Here comes the first pitch. Merrifield has had his trouble in these matchups facing right handed pitching that is and shows a lot more prowess against the southpaws into the windup here comes the 0 and 1 now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing time for a look at our umpires in this one behind the plate is Ed Drummond yeah Maddie, we got a good one behind the dish today in Ed Drummond well liked by all people pitchers batters managers all you want as a player is the ability to talk to someone. And that's what Ed does. He gives you that chance. Zero, you hit a nail right on the head. He has a real long fuse. He's not afraid to let a hitter or a pitcher, I'm not going to say complain about a particular pitch, but he's not the guy that's going to get mad and throw somebody and give him the boot just because a guy doesn't like a pitch or a pitcher thinks that a pitch is a strike and they call it a ball. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. That's Whit strong. Merrifield is the, the second out the of the opening frame. Salvador. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. As he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. The 0 1 on its way. Bat shatters as this is on the ground to first. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Bases are empty here with two men out. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Garcia is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So a relatively routine start for the top of the first here. 
Now it's the White Sox turn in a scoreless ball game. Brad Keller is on the mound for the season opener on the road in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable pitchers in the game. And the next Next to bat will be Tim Anderson. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Anderson. Drilled to the left side. That's a hit, their first of the new season. That's what we refer to in the biz as a hanger right there. He's lucky he's getting his baseball back. Now a throw over. At the plate now, Nick Madrigal, as he swings and lifts it in the air out to shallow right field. Under this one is Soler, and he'll handle it for the first out. Time now to check the starting lineup card for the Shy Sox in this one. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, I'll keep an eye on the leadoff guy and see what he can do in this one. He doesn't let the pressure of the big moment get to him. I love watching this guy hit in clutch situations. It's like he takes a deep breath and everything stops in front of him. He plays like the Zen man. First pitch of the at bat. Anderson's running. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Center fielder on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Batting four. No left fielder. Oh boy. He now to the plate, Emo Jimenez. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch and they pitch out here but nothing's going on down the third baseline Merrifield's right there to take the routine throw and retire the side a man left for the White Sox we are still scoreless In is Jorge Soler. Past history with Lucas Giolito. He's got three base hits in 16 tries. Two of those hits were for home runs. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit back up the middle. Reined in. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. That is it. The designated hitter, Michael. All right, guys, here's a defensive alignment for the Chicago White Sox. And, guys, what I want you to focus on today is this is one of the new age teams in the game that really rely on statistics and the numbers. And the numbers tell them that they're a better team defensively moving guys around and shifting as much as they can. So now to the plate, Michael Franco, as he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Now here's the pitch. And it's fouled away. Popped up. Abreu in foul ground, but this will land untouched. The 0 2 once more. 
Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing pitches and location, but he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row, so I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. And that brings in Hunter Dozier. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. The wind up and the 0 1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. A ball and two strikes now. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. KC down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the inning now, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Luis Robert. Louis. First delivery to him on the way. Hit down the third baseline. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Batting fifth. The designated hitter. Hey guys, take a look at how Kansas City sets up on D. And we're fortunate enough to watch one of the best outfielders in the game. The gold glover resides in left field can go back on balls as easily as go in on balls. Strong, accurate throwing arm. Look for him to make a play today. Edwin Encarnacion now. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Bottom of the second here with no score. Second pitch is chopped foul right at home plate, and he's behind now 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And a half hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. Right on that pitch that time as he wraps it into center field, a base hit. Hey, guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued. But he didn't. He One, stayed focused ten. and drove a line drive base hit. Now with the play, James McCann, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Kicks and deals. Popped him up. O'Hearn is there. And the inning is over. White Sox leave one. Will move to the third with no score. Now batting, Ryan O'Hearn. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. The pitch. And it's 0-1 to the Kansas City first baseman. He looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0-2. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. 
Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. If you've got a good fastball going and they're not handling, keep throwing it. Right there, three fastballs in a row. He gone. Into the box now, Edward Olivares. As he'll take strike one on the inside corner. One out, nobody on. Slider finds the zone for a strike. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle and man, as a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. This is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. He's really on a roll right now on the mound. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to wrap up the last Alex. inning, and now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control, 0-2. Hey, and the beat goes on. That's number eight. Third inning, no score to this point. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The next 0 2. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. Royals go down 1 2 3. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Bottom of the third now, and coming forward the veteran outfielder, Leori Garcia. First delivery to him on the way. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Now the pitch. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Lifted the other way to left center. Oliveris will slide over and put this one away. And that's out number one. The shortstop, Tim Anderson. Stepping up now, Tim Anderson. A base hit in his first trip. Now here's the pitch. Rocket to third. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And he'll reach second now with one away. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base hit. Madrigal. Into the box, Nick Madrigal. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. So that's his first home run in the big leagues. And it's fair to say it's a moment he'll never forget. Well, there's no doubt about that, Matt. People ask him 50 years from now who he hit it off of and what stadium he was playing in. And he'll remember it all. Heck, he'll probably remember what kind of pitch it was, too. Hopefully he can get the ball back so that can go in his trophy case forever.
So here's the slugging first baseman Jose Abreu now. Line but speared on a hop. Pro gets him two down. Oh man, you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Nice job to stay with it though, and then make the out at first. Stepping in, Eloy Jimenez, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Smoke toward third. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Two in the inning for the Sox, however. They come on this two-run home run. We played three full. It's now 2-0, good guys. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Adalberto Mondesi back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Here it comes. Hit on the ground to third. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. And everyone knows that you set the tone on opening day, and that's not the kind of tone they want to set. They made fielding a priority in the spring, but it doesn't translate on that play. Might be some early season jitters, too. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Whit Merrifield. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Fouled off. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. The 0-2 once more. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Waiting on it is Jimenez. One down. The catcher, number 13, Salvador Perez. Into the box, Salvador Perez. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. No balls in one strike. Salvador Perez behind in the count, nothing in two. Two takes and now he's down 0 and 2. I'm not sure, but he may have been taking to give a guy at first a chance to run. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Boy, this guy has really good stuff so far on this one. How about seven Ks and we're just in the middle innings of this one. If he continues this up, this could be a real solid performance. In now, Jorge Soler. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. in there and he's in control 0 2 now boy this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on put himself in a tough spot now hitting with two strikes and he struck him out his eighth punch out of the ball game and that one ends the inning Royals leave one they're still down it's two nothing
ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Luis Robert. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Gone! It's a solo shot to dead center. First home run of the campaign for him. And the Sox will move out in front now. Three to nothing. Edwin Encarnacion to the plate now. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now batting the third baseman, Yohan Moncada. So here's Yohan Moncada. One run in and one gone so far this inning. First delivery to him on the way. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, he's digging for second. And he'll pull into second with one away. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. Standing in now, James McCann. He grounds it sharply to third. And there are two away now. Now batter. The right field. Leore Garcia. So coming to the plate, Leore Garcia. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. from the stretch hit hard on the ground towards second and that's through into center field base hit long throw to the plate and not in time as the run scores and time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit And that'll bring up the shortstop, Tim Anderson. He swings and grounds it to short. Merrifield's right there to take the routine throw and retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the White Sox four and the Royals nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I talked with the Kansas City manager during the inning break about the Royals' offensive production to this point. And he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at-bats. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. The new inning set to get Michael underway and Franco. digging in is the veteran DH Michael Franco we're moving through the middle of this ball game right now they want to get things going how about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit they don't have any hits going into this part of the game here comes the first pitch he takes the change up the other way out toward right center Robert is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Up next for the Royals, 
the third baseman, Hunter Dozier. Hunter Dozier digging in now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Ball, that's out. It's no wonder this guy's pitch count is so low. If they keep swinging on the first pitch, he's got a real chance to go deep into this one. The 1-0. Bases are empty, one man out. One and two now. One ball, two straight. And he punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. To the plate now, Ryan O'Hearn. And he fouls this one off. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. Hey, offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little bit more uncomfortable. One strike away from five shutout innings. 0-2 count, here's the pitch. Hit in the air to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. KC down in order. They trail here four to nothing. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And set to go is the second baseman, Nick Madrigal. 